what is happening guys how are y'all doing today we are back for the forza ml part two of the series and ideally we will be getting or collecting our keyboard components today to be able to actually get started with this thing or maybe start training maybe tomorrow maybe the day after who knows we'll see but uh we will keep going with it nonetheless to be able to build out our full-blown Forza ML capability. That being said, I've got a ton of other ideas that I want to play around with. Uh, so this is just the beginning of some uh, new and more sort of uh, creative and just random models that are going to be, I don't know, doing interesting things that, that maybe you don't typically see uh, machine learning and AI being applied for. But um, we're going to be giving this a crack. Also, I wanted to give you guys a heads up that if you haven't checked out already, the technical support uh, form is now up on the community tab. So if you haven't had a look at that or need some technical help, um, specifically technical help where we can crowdsource the knowledge and, and maybe share it with some other people as well, um, I threw up the form on the community tab so you can go and check that out. Um, what else did I want to have a chat to you guys about? Anyway, no, nah, I'm not going to spoil the surprise for tomorrow. So that, that'll come when it comes. Alrighty, without further ado, how you doing, Wesley? How you doing, Anit Debug? How you doing, everybody else in the chat? All right, so let's uh, let's kick this bad boy off. So I am going to let's actually jump over to the breakdown board first, and then we'll see what we've got to do today. All right, breakdown board is working. So first things first, what do we? How you doing, Ewan? So the first, so yesterday we managed to get the images collected. So we're collecting that using MSS and OpenCV. I don't know if we're doing any, oh no, OpenCV is doing the writing at the moment. Let's put that in a small font. Right. Out. So today what I want to do is I want to actually go and collect the keyboard output which should be relatively easy i can't imagine that that's going to be too hardcore to actually go and handle so presumably there's like a python library that captures what i'm hitting on my keyboard should be relatively straightforward enough and we'll probably save this to like numpy numpy either numpy or throw it into a csv i haven't decided yet either one will work because eventually what we'll do is we'll load this up into the TensorFlow data loader. So you can do that using, let me write this in green. So to load up stuff, we can write tf.data.dataset and then dot list dear. And that we can basically do like a wildcard search in here. So it'll be something like os.path dot join and then we'll basically pass through i don't know where the controls folder well wow, my writing is getting shocking not happy with that writing quality it'll be like controls and then comma it'll be like an asterisk over here and then dot n n p z something like that we'll get there that might not be the day, but we, we'll actually see where we get to. Hey, you doing, Nada? All right, let's uh, let's get back to this and write some code. Okay, so first things first, let's open up the folder that we've been working in. So D drive, CD, YouTube, and we are going into uh, dear. Get confused between um, we're going into Forza ML. Let's activate our environment. Actually, let's just open it up in code. So code in VS code uh, and then let's activate our environment here so dot backward slash forza backward slash scripts backward slash activate I've been getting into just random development lately I'm uh I'm actually thinking about learning Next.js to just start building out some like machine learning apps it's been something like because I used to code Again, we were looking at when the last time that I coded in JavaScript was. I'm actually thinking like that the framework that I use, which used to be Mern, so Mongo Express React, 
node i think that's sort of progressed from now like you've got frameworks like next.js that we can use to wrap up everything in its entirety so yeah we might need to take a look as to whether or not we we transition to that okay so originally i was going to have this in two separate functions but i think i'm actually going to do it in the same function um so collect game play game play and that's so i can leverage the same file name for both the image and the controller base data so that should ideally make our lives a little bit easier so that means that needs to be replaced over here uh okay and then what do we need to do so cv2 so that's going to write it out then we also need to write out what the we need to capture keystrokes uh nope nope i'm closing everything down let me open up a let's go to good old google capture keystrokes with python how do we do that stack overflow i input and we've got a listener so on press that looks like it could work let's see if we can implement that make this a little bit smaller okay so what are we going to do we should have um, I've changed the environment here. Hold on, let me go and bring it back to the other one. So if I go to scripts and Python, let me just explain what was happening there. So you can see that we've got these little squiggly lines and that's because it really should, we already had those in our environment, but I've gone and I'm playing around with some other stuff at the moment. So we need to go and change our environment back. So if I go and change it to Python, now if we can zoom out, And then what we want to do is we want to capture our keys. So is this the only thing? Okay, I guess so. So we probably need to, do we need to install that? So we'll install this pip, install in put. That looks okay. Double check it's installed successfully. Pi input, cool. So what we now need to do is bring that in. So bring in pi input for key press capture. So from pi input dot keyboard import key and listener. Listener. Okay, how does this actually work? So if key is currently press key, right? We're printing that out. Where's the pi input coming into play down here? All right, so we've got a listener and then a listener dot join. On press. Oh, okay. So we bind them to that. As listener, what does the listener dot join do? I don't know. Okay, I guess we're gonna investigate. So I just want I really just want on press. I don't need the on release, I don't think. On key press and we'll pass through the key. If key equals currently press key, else currently press key. Oh, so this is checking whether or not it's changed. Okay, fair. So, do, 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 do. it would be nicer to do this in a class. Yeah. Uh, let's call it class gameplay. And then we're going to call this self dot game area. Self dot capture. And then we are going to say self over here. Self over here. And then we can say self. 
got current well we need current keys as well because we're going to be pressing multiple keys at the same time okay let's see if this is gonna work so current let's call it current keys none and then so on current key press if self dot current this should take in a key self dot current key is equals key then return self dot current key else a if self dot current is not uh, well actually if it doesn't equal that key then we can just go else uh self dot current key equals or keys equals key and then return self dot current keys that looks like it should be okay equals equals there all in there Okay, so this is going to take that, then we need to run the listener. So this has kind of got a loop. Okay, so where do we place that? Inside of collect.gameplay. Let's try that. So um, with listener. On press, we want to run self dot on key press. Listener, what is this listener? Oh, as listener, okay. Listener dot join. What does listener dot join do? Listener dot join. And we are looking at what's this pi input documentation. Self dot current keys. Someone's telling me I got a typo. We'll pick up. The self dot game area. The self dot capture. Uh, this should be so we'd need to create a new instance of the class so it would be game equals gameplay and then we would be calling game dot collect gameplay self is not defined we don't need do we need no this looks okay how you doing, Rucode? I think you need the on release to distinguish between pressing and holding. Is that what what it's doing there? Oh, it stops the listener. You're right. I think you are right, Jen Marco. Oh, sorry. That was uh, that was Wesley. Currently pressed key is none if key equals key dot escape. Now this isn't, this doesn't sound like it's on release currently pressed key equals none. So when we release, it resets. I think you're right. Let's just do that. On key release self and i don't think we need do we need key there okay what do we need if key we just want self dot current keys equals to none we don't need to return anything there i don't think if key equals escape key this stops the listener we need that.
testing press A once, press and hold B. Let's give that a crack. So this is going to be on press and then we need on release equals self dot uh, on key release. I still don't quite get the listener dot join bit, but how do we print this out? So we print on the on press and on release. But presumably, what's li I just want to know what listener dot join does. Join, join, join. Collect events until release. So what does it do? Run both of these? Keyboard listener or in a non-blocking function fashion. Listener dot start. We should probably, I don't know, let's give this a crack and see what happens. But we're not printing in, printing out anything, so we should probably print. So print self.current keys. On key release. Enter after. Was that actually going to do anything? It's probably not going to do anything because it's just going to print out none after it's gone and been reset. Okay, does that make sense? I think so. Uh, we don't have Forza open, but let's just test this to see if it's picking up my keys. So Python, Forza, we changed a ton of stuff here. I'm expecting errors. Name error self is not defined. A regular class. Wait, I don't need to pass through self to my class, do I? No, wait, what am, am I losing the plot here? God, okay. Class definition. I'm clearly losing the plot. Python. See, sometimes you need to go back to the absolute basics because you're like, oh, what am I doing? It's not meant. So that's got to go. Well, actually, no, that shouldn't do anything. Oh, definite. I'm such a... Uh, guys. <laughs> you get, even though I'm writing this all the time, you get like, I'm like, how on earth did I forget that I need an initialization function? Anyway. You win some, you lose some. Okay, all right, so, all right, so this picking up that, um, hold on, so I have a hit Q. No, I need to go fix this, because right now it's saying none. So I'm hitting E and it's saying none. But if I hold, we get the letter. So it's kind of okay, spacebar. Hmm. Oh, and I, we definitely need an escape because now I can't escape out of it. <laughs> All right, we definitely need to implement that escape capability because otherwise your boy's going to be running Python scripts for Lord knows how long. All right, so we need this over here. So on key release. If e equals key dot escape return false, so that should ideally kill off a listener. All right, what do we actually have different here? So what? What? I mean, that's pretty good progress considering I changed a ton of code. And are we still collecting frames? Let's double check that as well. YouTube do, 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 do. Uh, data. Hold on, let me delete a bunch of stuff. Wow, okay, we've clearly collected a ton of frames. Hold on, we've screwed it up because we're only collecting one frame now. Uh, 
and this is not detecting either. Hmm. Wait, there was a non-blocking function, wasn't there? We need to go back. And the escape isn't working. I just saw a non-blocking version. Hmm. Or in a non-blocking function. All right, let's do this. Because does this mean it's going to stop our other stuff from running? This and uh, equals that. So hold on. Let, let me just quickly explain what was happening. So I think that it is continuously running, which means it is blocking the rest of the code from executing. Right. So over here, you can see that this is in a non. Uh, yeah. Good pick up, strawberry dude. Let's, uh, let's quickly take a look in the chat. I've just been randomly coding a bunch of stuff and I haven't been chatting to you guys. Hold up. Yeah, Strawberry Dude, I think you're right. It is, um, I think it is a threading thing. So it's, it's blocking the other threads. Hence, it can't, I can't actually capture the frame. So it's like stopping the rest of the code from executing. I think I, like I just saw it in the documentation there. We might just be able to do it in a non-blocking fashion. Fingers crossed. Might be able to get that to work, but um, definitely good. Good pick up there. Um, what else we got? How you doing, Dane Levy? Thanks for your pick up as well, Strawberry Dude, my guy. Be notified about callback errors. Call thread.join on the listener instance. Maybe remove the release now. We'll see what happens. Blessed Globe. Hey, man, just wanted to say thanks for your great videos on RL. Been helping me a lot to get ready to do my thesis. Yeah, man, you get it. You go out there and crush it. If there's anything I can do to help, you um, you let me know as well, all right? Um, and Strawberry Dude, you're my guy. You, you, you win the prize for tonight. We've got to work out and get some prizes on these live streams. Any sponsors out there listening, we've we got to get, give the, these guys some, some prizes. So uh, reach out. All right, let's get this done. Alrighty, cool. So we've got our listener. And I think let's see if, what happens if we run listener.start. And then get rid of this. Threading is something that I'm terrible at. It's actually, um, I mean, Strawberry Dude, you, you mentioned it. I've really got to get better at it. Um, absolute shocker. There was one dude at my old company. He actually wrote this entire, this entire Python framework for like this, this hardcore financial modeling tool that we used to work on. And like, he built like like hyper, like he made it multi-threaded. He was like optimizing for speed. It was nuts what that guy did. And I think like he learned everything pretty much at all he knew from Centex. So um, obviously Centex is a beast as well, but um, kind of awesome. Okay, so, all right. So this makes sense, right? So we were collecting one image, then it was running our listener, then it was blocking the thread that way. And that meant that we weren't going to be collecting any additional images. So. All right, at least we understand that bit now. So collect the frames, listen for keystrokes. So maybe that'll work. Uh, let's make sure that we're actually not destroying or actually stop when we want to stop. This is saying if key equals keyboard.key.escape. So what, it's imported it from keyboard so we've got key do, 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 do. key dot escape keyboard yeah we've already got that key dot escape why are we not stopping if key equals equals key dot escape return false does that actually kill the listener yes no wait it was killing the listener because that's why it was taking additional but we are running a loop down here already. So hold on. Right now we've got a loop within a loop. No bueno. How are we going to do this? All right, let's just give this crack. I'm going to have to think this one through. All right, that's definitely picking up now. Uh, look at that. All right, so that's definitely working a lot better. Are we capturing frames? We're capturing frames. All right, I think we're good. 
I don't know what I changed now. I need to go back. This is what happens. Sometimes you code and you're like, I don't know. I changed a bunch of stuff. Let's see, we're capturing frames and we're capturing keys. Oh yeah. What happens if we do two keys at the same time? Hmm. All right, we've got to work on this. All right, so we managed to kill it by here. I didn't need to go stop the thread. But you should try GitHub Copilot. You know what? I've got an API key. I've, I've actually got it. I just haven't bothered using it as of late. Let me know. Maybe I'll do that um, like tomorrow. I've just got to go set it up. Why am I not using Copilot? Maybe I should go install GitHub Copilot. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But I mean, this is working now. Probably a bit late for GitHub Copilot, let's be real, guys. But uh, yeah, we, we definitely should. All right, what do we want to do? So we want to output the key. So, oh, wait, hold on. We're not capturing multiple keys. So this is going to be a problem because let me show you what I'm actually thinking. So it's going to be a multi multiple binary classification model. So, um, so why does it always do this? It always screws up this color. So like, I've got this like Ch El Cheapo capture card plugged in for the breakdown board, but like, I've got a really good one for this camera. So maybe it's time to, to do a bit of upgrading. It's easy to set, set up. It takes like two minutes. All right, maybe I'll do it afterwards. I'm going to try to keep this one relatively short. I've got to take my girlfriend out to dinner. She's, uh, she's been working hella hard lately. Um, all right, wait, what was I saying? So I ne we need to capture multiple keys. So let's say this is W A S D. We're effectively going to have a one if W is hit and a zero if A isn't hit, a one if S is hit, but like, it's obviously not just going to be W A S D. We're going to be capturing multiple keys. So really what we want is a, or what we ideally want is a giant array that looks something like this. W, A, S, D, I don't know, like space. Space is like handbrake, I think, in Forza. So we'd need 0, 1, 0, 1, for example, or like, what's Go? Go would be, so like, an example is accelerating or like driving around a corner would be, one for w to say we're going forward and then let's say we're going around the left corner it will be a and then if we decide to drift or like these would be zero if we decide to drift we hit the handbrake the e-brake we're going to be smashing space which means we're going to be drifting around a corner so we need to be able to capture when we're hitting multiple keys at the same time so let's see if pi input can actually handle that we we've got to dig in Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, man, been watching your videos and greatly helped a lot. Uh, glad you liked it. Mateen, just, drop, just dropped in to say hi. I wish it wasn't 1 a.m. where I am, but I'll surely watch it later. Ah, oh, thanks so much. All the, um, all the replays for this, I post them up straight away as well. So if you guys ever want to come back and watch these, I, like, I let them go up straight away. I don't like pause them before they go up. Um, so you guys can always come back and, and learn a little bit more in your own time. Uh, okay, how do we capture multiple keys at the same time? Pressed. Does this really not hit self.current keys? By input. Capture multiple keys. At the same time. This is pressing keys, so we'll probably use Pi Auto GUI afterwards. Yeah, so Pi input is great. We've got uh, that working, but we need multiple keys. Hmm. 
gigawatts question just tuned in how are you doing this with the cnn or am i, am I accessing the game directly i think it's going to be with the cnn i'd love to go look into how people are doing um well, well like i actually did did investigate a little bit hold on ipad's gonna die um a lot of the times when they're accessing the game directly like for uh what is it dota 5 or whatever the big five was i think they actually had the api opened up in the back end so that they could actually get into it mm, all right we might need to go look into how to detect capture multiple yeah strawberry dude a, a dictionary is going to be perfect for that or at least an array with multiple values and then we can go and um like pad the rest of the input here we go. How do I detect multiple key presses in Python all at the same time? Yeah. The best approach is to use the Pi game. Oh, Pi game does it as well? Pi game key dot get press returns a list of all the keys pressed at once. Do we need a listener? Hold on. We've already just gone and written all this code for Pi input. I am put capturing multiple keys. Want to read it now? On activate, on activate, not control plus alt plus H. Oh, so this is setting up listeners for each individual E set. But would that print both? We might just be able to do that. I'm hoping for some help with the hotkey function of Pi input. I want to have multiple hotkeys, but I need the listener to be non-blocking. I can create a single hotkey without issue, but I'm not sure the syntax needed to pass multiple hotkeys. The code below works for a single key. On press, on release. Hotkey one, hotkey two. Let's try that. Okay. We'll give it four more minutes and then uh, we're going to wrap this one up and probably keep going tomorrow. All right. So we've got on press, on release. How's this guy doing it? On activate. Keyboard.global hotkeys. All right. So wait, they've changed that. Okay. I'm just trying to get my head around this documentation. I've never actually used listener. So from keyboard, can we import global hotkeys? Wait, we don't want specific hotkeys. I get the feeling this is going to do the exact same thing that we've got now. Of dot current key. Yeah, I don't know. What does Pi Game do? Pi Game collect. Imagine like the Pi Game doco is like does it in one line. I'm just gonna be sitting here like, well, wow, Frog really should have just gone and done that. All right. Um.
Do we need to be running the like a Pi game script though? need to go back and double check how Pi game actually works. How do we typically run it? Just normally. Okay, all right, let's try Pi game then. Uh, where is my terminal now? Pip install Pi game. I know everything seems to indicate that we can't capture multiple at the same time. So I'm wondering whether or not we'll keep this here, but I'm just going to comment it out for now. This is part of the, part of the process guys. Comment that out. Do we need, we don't need a global or a class variable. We do need. Pi game get press. So um, from Pi game import. Go back and take a look at that. Uh, import get pressed. What is this actually returning? Hold on, let's have a quick read of this. Sequence bool. Let's print it out and see. Python for the game capture. videos <clears throat> system not initialized yeah i get the feeling that we're going to need to go and set up a game completely for that anyway we can collect one game let's just do one key and at least get that kind of working or we'll save that down and then we can we're gonna have to go and fix up how we actually collect keys well at least we know we can get one key at a time not ideal if we're driving right so we would be saving it after every frame cap so i'm gonna just place this place it after, above place this above and then let's go and save it out so uh we've, we're just gonna have a single value for now What is it? MP dot right. I think it's right. NumPy right out. Save text. Let's try that. We already have NumPy. Yep. NP dot save text. And I am just going to be saving. So the file name is going to be the same as the window name. Let's join this so F. So it's going to be file name. Dot MPZ, I think, is the appropriate extension type. And then we need an array. Let's just write out the key like that for now. Or self. What is it? Self dot key. I'm not happy that it's only getting one. We're going to have to fix that. Self dot current keys. That should be okay. We should probably save it into an appropriate... Well, it's already going to be going into data. Fine for now. Okay. So we're going to be writing out the NumPy component or the every key that we're pressing out to self.current keys. Okay. Well, let's try this out. This neuro is not defined. We've gone and deleted. So, oh, yeah. We've got to re... Bring this back. Let me 
mismatch between do, 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 where we fall in over here for line 49. Line 28 in collect gameplay. He doesn't like this. It's not a string. Just double check the type, class, none type. Weird, okay. I'm wondering if you should save it to a CSV. No, let's go double check how we're meant to be using this. All right, so it is saying that X is an array X, Y, Z are 1D sized arrays. And P dot saves text X. X would be effectively this. What the problem is. Maybe it's not. P dot array. Expected a 1D or 2D array. All right, so I know that we can fix that like so. Mismatch between array D type object and format specifier. What is this expecting? So we're not passing through the correct format. The format needs to be something specific. I just need a character, right? String of characters. I think the problem is that when you're not pressing on a key, it always says none. I mean, that might make sense. Uh, self dot current is yeah, that might make sense. Oh, see, I just press the key and it's throwing it. Type error must be a real number, not a key code. There you go. That's why I think. So if I wrap it in a string, no. What's that error? Mismatch between in an array. We need to have it as a string. What was S? String of characters. I put in a single character as that format. FMT equals that. A. Hey, we got it, I think. All right. Stop that. We don't want to print stuff out. Let's see if we've actually gone and output stuff into here. Hey, we've got it, guys. I'm going to be able to sleep easy tonight now. That was going to drive me insane all night if I didn't get that working. All right, hold on. So Python, uh, import numpy as mp, uh, mp dot, how do we read that file now? Save to two. It's just a text file, isn't it? S dot out. If I saved it as txt probably the smarter move yeah, let's 
see this. Boom, 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 Let's smash a bunch of keys. Key dot space. All right. Stop this. So those latest ones. Type. So we've got a button. Guys, we're capturing it. This is highly inefficient. I don't think we're going to keep going with this, but we're at least capturing the keys. Woo! I'm going to sleep. It, it's, it's beer time. I think it's beer o'clock. 618, yeah, it's beer o'clock. That's, that's, we're going to count that as a win tonight, guys. So we've successfully... All right, let's, uh, let's replay this back. So we've successfully managed to capture our keys using pi input and we've gone and set it up as a class rather than just doing it in whatever we found on stack overflow that's also a good point to note right like there's nothing wrong with going to stack overflow and getting answers but try to make it your own if you can so we've gone and wrapped it up in a class and, and tweaked a bunch of stuff and changed variable names which i know is not the great it's not revolutionary but um it's okay right um that's what the open source community is about um leveraging and helping each other all right cool so we've gone and set up so we've gone and refactored a ton of code so we've set up our class we've gone and uh pushed whatever we need into the init function we've gone and created a collect gameplay function uh, we set up our listener here and we're setting up our write so this is effectively writing out our key presses out to individual text files which is I don't personally think it's hyper efficient. It'll probably just be more efficient to write it out to a CSV. So we might tweak that in the next stream. We've gone and set up our listeners and we've gone and got this up and running. So, I mean, we're in a pretty good place, guys. So we've got, as of right now, we could probably train a model. it will be a single like multi-class classifier because you just pick what key is being run at each individual time. But we've got a ton of data. Like, look at all of this. We got data. So if I de delete all of this now, right? Let's actually go and... I haven't actually gone and played Forza yet. So let's make sure we this is going to work. If I go and bring this bad boy over here. Really quick run. Uh, why did it open up on the other screen? Forza. Push the code to GitHub once I'm done. Yeah, I'll throw this up if you guys want it. Hirash, highly appreciate your work, bro. In which company am I working and what kind of projects am I working on? So I work at IBM. I'm a, I look after data and AI explicitly for the Asia Pacific region. So anything that's mildly data science related, I look after. Oh, wait, this is going to be super loud. Um, yeah, a lot of that stuff is our Watson stuff and like virtual agents unstructured natural language processing and natural language search i do dabble a little bit in like tabular machine learning auto ai that type of stuff but i've been really interested in in nlp lately and obviously just playing games and stuff even though i suck at gaming but uh we're gonna have to make this um non full screen i can understand the appeal of like doing gaming streams it's like actually kind of cool like all right, uh, we've got to change our options. This took for ages to work yesterday. I got it now, full screen, and then X, save and continue. Beautiful. Bring that over there. Okay, cool. Let's just go and get this to a point where we can play. What about the Twitch channel? So we went on to Twitch and like Wesley was saying, like the, the user interface isn't that nice. I went back and looked at it and I was like, you're right. You can't actually go back. So if you guys tune in midway through my live stream, you would have no ability to go back and see what I've actually started streaming, which is a little bit of a pain. I'll still keep it there. I'm also like, I'm also posting like the shorts to TikTok. I'm not doing dances, but who knows? Maybe if you guys want me to do dances, I can floss. Um, yeah, Twitch is there. Like, we'll we'll eventually go and maybe do something with it. Maybe just to just car gaming. Um, what am I doing? We want to go and actually drive. Oh yeah, I saw change cars last night. All right, let's see if we are going to be able to capture these frames. 
Set some key logger to capture keys. Well, we're capturing keys now. Check me out. Handbrake. I'm not, I'm trying to like watch the key presses. Uh, it's jamming. Hold on. Interesting. Wait, hold up. It's jamming. I wonder if it's. That's going to be a problem. Take a look at this. I'm not hitting anything. I wonder if it's not able to keep up. We're going to need to dig into this. Right, so that's okay. This is good to go and test, right? It's actually jamming, so... See, I'm not pressing anything. The car's turning. Hmm, alright, we're going to have to go work this one out. Maybe have, like, a sleep? I wonder if it's not able to capture fast enough. That's my guess. Hmm. Alright, hold up. So, like, right now, this is still running. I've got a feeling that it's not able to run. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing... I'm just doing random burnouts. But look, it's like it's... Come on, stop. No, we're going to have to go and kill it. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. How do we fix this? So, we are maybe riding way too fast. So, easy fix. We just ride slower. And my trash is going to be full. It's like 250 megs worth of data. If you guys want this data as well at the end, then, um, then <laughs> this is part of testing. I mean, stuff's got to break. It wouldn't be a real project if everything worked the first time. Let's be real. I know I said I was going to wrap this up, but let's just, let's just add one little tweak. So, while true, I hope this isn't kicking off our listener every single time. I've got a feeling it is. This means it'll be creating multiple instances of our listener. Yeah, that's not good. We're going to have to fix that up tomorrow. All right, let's just do a hacky fix. Time.sleep. Uh, it's in seconds. So let's capture. Let's sleep between every call. Hopefully that fixes it. Just putting it out there, guys. I hate driving on keyboard. And on that note, we're going to wrap up. But <laughs> all right, so we've effectively managed to go in and work that out. So that looks like it's okay now. It's not like... Um... Let's just make a couple of notes. So what do we need to do? So we need to fix... We should really do this in Markdown. That's the developer thing to do, right, isn't it? Um, so we are going to read me. Uh, so we need to uh, fix the listener being called in a loop. Uh, capture. Multiple keys. Build the DL model. And play eventually. Alrighty. Cool. We are going to wrap it up now. Yeah, we still have to definitely fix the... Uh... I didn't know you can delete without sending it. Shift delete to Wesley. That's a game changer. I'm good. The amount of stuff I have to randomly delete. Alright, so we've effectively gone and captured all the gameplay. We've sorted out that that multiple call, but I think we need to fix the multiple keys. 
we also need to um, sort out calling the listener multiple times. But on that note, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I love you all. Um, yeah, it does look fine now. We should capture some data and teach ML like Tesla Copilot. Yeah, we, I've got a like a, a janky old car down in the basement. We could go try to hack that and uh, use our Forza ML capability to go drive that. Fingers crossed, this is the way. Um, anyway, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I love you all. Um, got some interesting content coming in the next couple of days, so do stay tuned. And if you do need any deep technical help, there is the technical support uh Form that you can now go and submit a uh, request to and maybe i'll make a video on them if there's enough support for those particular requests thanks so much for tuning in guys i'll catch you in the next one uh, peace